Oppose, same side. Uh, item number three on the uh, agenda is comments from the floor. It's an opportunity for residents to make the board aware of topics, issues, and opportunities not on today's agenda. And I see that our audience uh, chairs are all vacant. Item number four, uh, we'll now open a public hearing, or I'll look for a uh, motion to open a public hearing for the 2013 proposed budget. Can I have that motion, please? George, I'll move to open the public hearing for the 2013 proposed budget. Second. Thank you. All in favor of opening of the motion to open a public hearing, indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Gloria, our village uh, administrator and treasurer, will give a brief presentation on the uh, 2013 uh, proposed budget. Okay, as you may be aware, and this requires Excuse me, Gloria, would you please grab the microphone from the podium? Thank you. Or stand at the podium. Or stand at the podium might be easier for you. As you all may be aware of, it is required by state statute 6590 that an annual budget be published at least 15 days prior to the public hearing. It's also required that a summary including certain information be published. We have complied with both. Points of interest on our budget, you will notice that there was a small adjustment to the levy limit after publication of the budget, which lowered the tax levy Um, which lowered the tax levy from what it was published at. This is allowable per state statute as long as it's done during the public hearing. The Village of North Hudson's property tax levy will increase by $6,685 over last year. However, due to this change in assessed value, the Village's mill rate will remain the same at 3.92. As you can tell, I haven't used this very often. Um, the state of Wisconsin WITC levies both went down slightly from last year. The Hudson School District and St. Croix County's levies went up. The overall mill rate for the village will be 15.97, which is point seven one hundredths of a percentage um, after applying the state uh, school tax credit. Other changes to revenue are reductions in special assessments of $24,110 Uh, general transportation aid was reduced by $12,525 and $29,500, which was pulled from unassigned to balance last year's budget for a total reduction of $67,629. With the general fund revenues being reduced by $67,629, we then needed to reduce the expenses the same amount. Um, the general government
Can you get that back up? I cannot find the cursor on here. It's closing everything. The general government expenditures were increased by 32,000 to cover handling, <clears throat> to cover revaluation of the village done in order to comply with the state requirement for data conversion by the 2013 assessment year. Which one do you need up for you? The publication again. And if you could get it down towards the bottom. Okay, thank you. So you'll, you'll notice the increase for general government. Uh, effective December 31st, uh, one police officer will be laid off, reducing public safety's overall budget by $46,020. Additional money was reserved in their budget to account for the possibility of unemployment claims. Public Works Street Management budget was reduced by 20,000. Which is down, it brings it down to the prior year's allocation with Public Works overall budget being reduced by 15,108. The financing, the refinancing of the 2004 A series bond reduced the debt service budget by 31,000. In 2013 and for the next 10 years, uh, the, um, there was $463,330 that was budgeted in the capital projects fund which is the very last line item here. In the event that the board decides to proceed with the shop yards project and paving of a lot across, this, across from the village hall for additional uh, parking. This right here summarizes the 2011 actual numbers, the 2012 budget, November's year-to-date um, actual amounts, and then the projected year-end for 2012. And if you follow the 2012 projected year-end to the bottom, you'll see that we're projecting uh, uh, to the good of $33,558. And that's without the 29500 um, that was used for setting aside for various items. So going into 2013, uh, it's an estimate of a unassigned account balance of $525,515,000. Does the board have any other questions? Any questions at all? Thank you, Gloria. You're welcome. Any board member have any, or anyone else who is here in attendance this evening? Anyone have any comments or questions? If not, I would like a, I'd entertain a motion to close the public hearing for the 2013 proposed budget. I move, George. Thank you, Mark. Second. So, Thank you, Colleen. Any further discussion? All in favor of closing the public, hear public hearing indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed to <clears throat> sign. All that having been said, it is now time to turn the page to resolution number 2012-12, which is a, a resolution to adopt the annual uh, village budget and establish a tax levy. Can I have a motion to that effect? 
number 20-12 resolution adopting adopting the 2013 annual budget and set and, and establishing the property tax levy for the village of North Hudson Do I need to read all the whereas's I uh, don't think so Colleen I think that's sufficient do I hear a second second thank you Mark any further discussion on adopting the budget I will entertain a roll call vote. Can we start with you, Ted? Yes. 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 Thank you. That represents the culmination of, I can safely say without exaggeration, uh, Gloria, correct me if I'm wrong, but four months of heavy work uh, putting a budget together considering the constraints that we had to operate under and appreciate all the <coughs> hard work not only from our uh, board but also from our uh, administrators the uh, next item on the budget item nine uh, new business from the board or staff starts off with the president's comments and I do have just a few I will <coughs> be brief uh, I have been working on the uh, president's annual letter to the uh, residents and I have solicited input from the uh, staff. I've gotten some very good comments. If any of the board members has anything that they would like me to include in that annual letter, I would ask them to please forward it to me in my email, and I will make sure that it gets incorporated into the letter. Uh, in that letter, I, will, uh, I have listed all of the ordinances and resolutions that we have passed during the year. And, uh, I'm not going to read this now. It is lengthy, but I just want to tell you how many resolutions and how many ordinances we operated with or we worked on and passed this year. There were 10 ordinance changes and there were 13 resolutions. I'd like to congratulate you for all of that work. It was quite an effort. Uh, next thing I'd like to do is just uh, uh, open up anyone out there who is interested in running for uh, any of the village positions. Now is the time to uh, see the clerk and get your paperwork in. That having been said, I put together a two-page document that if anybody is interested in running for the, vil uh, the village president position, I will be glad to sit down and talk with them and share this document which lists only some of the activities that you can expect if you are elected as the president of our village. As I put that list together, I was surprised at just how many responsibilities there are. Um, the last thing I have, because I know that uh, our clerk has some comments, but I will let uh, Glory go first, um, is to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. This will be our last meeting of the year, and uh, I hope you enjoy the spirit of the holiday. I know I will, and I hope you will, too. So Merry Christmas, everybody. Gloria, anything? Yes, please. Um, I'd like to announce that we have a part-time position for financial assistant deputy treasurer. We have posted it in the paper, still accepting applications, but just wanted to open that up and let people know that if you have knowledge and experience in accounting, including processing accounts payable, accounts receivable, payroll, to go to the village website and click on, uh, at NorthHudsonVillage.org and click on employment. And that'll get you to the application and uh, the more information on the position. Also, I received an email from uh, Youth Action Hudson requesting that um, one of a representative from the village board attend. I believe Colleen may have some interaction with these folks. Um, they are um, they believe in the youth of the of being the biggest asset when it comes to serving others and shaping future generations, and they uh, empower the youth of Hudson to be students of action. Uh, some of the examples of the yearly programs include peer-to-peer -peer training, all dressed up, empty bowls, and a talent show, and many, many more. In addition, they are constantly seeking out new opportunities for their students to ser serve the communities. And they were thinking that if um, someone from the village came, that, that we could get an idea of how 
they could possibly help us a little bit more. Um, their annual breakfast is going to be Thursday, December 6th at the Hudson Golf Course. And um, they will hear presentations, experiences, and discussions. So if this is something um, that you're interested in doing or clean, if you were intending, she would like um, someone to email her back and just let her know if, if a representative from the village would be attending. I am, I'm already going to it so I can represent the village at the same time as I'm okay. there anyway. <laughs> would you, um, I think she sent you an email. Did you not get it? I haven't checked my email today. Okay, if you wouldn't mind, uh, I will send you one, and then if you let her know, or I can let her know either way. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. And that's it. Thank you. Becky, I understand that you have a few things you want to talk about. I have a couple of, of brief items. Okay. Um, as was emailed to each one of you today, the January Village Board meeting has been changed as the first Tuesday in January is the first, and that is a holiday, so it will be on January 8th. Uh, finance at 6 and Village Board at 7 o'clock. So Tuesday, January 8th for Village Board and Finance as well. Uh, as President Klein mentioned, um, the we are seeking candidates, I guess, for um, the election for next spring. So for any trustee seeking re-election or any resident who is interested in running for the Office of Village President, Village Trustee, or Municipal Judge, I do have the candidacy forms available in my office. You can pick them up here at Village Hall. And the completed forms are due by January 2nd of 2013. So prior to circulating nomination papers, you would need to get that packet of information from me and then have them returned by January 2nd. And that is all I have. Thank you, Becky. Next on the agenda is uh, the Plant Commission uh, but I don't believe there was any activity with the planning <coughs> commission. Number 11 is the Personnel and Finance Committee. Uh, we do have some recommendations to pass on to you. One of them is that we pay our bills, and so I would entertain a motion uh, to for that very item. George I'll move to approve the November 2012 non-recurring claims totaling 19000 $849.51. Second. Thank you. Um, any questions regarding the bills? Take a roll call vote. Start with you this time, Dan. Yes. 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 Uh, next item on the uh, Agenda item B is the uh, Treasurer Deputy Clerk job description. Uh, last month at the November 8th meeting, we discussed uh, the position of administrator, and uh, we did not have on the agenda Treasurer Deputy Clerk, and so that's why it's uh, on the in your packet for this evening and why it's on the agenda. Uh, I'll entertain a motion, then we can do any discussion that's appropriate. The silence is deafening. Move to approve the job description of the deputy clerk treasurer for the village of North Hudson. Second. Thank you. Uh, this is simply a clarification and putting in, in words so that in a list so that you know what our treasurer and deputy clerk do. Gloria, do you have anything you want to add? Any comments? Oh, I think it's self-explanatory I would agree any of the board members have a question all in favor of accepting the uh, motion as presented indicate by saying aye aye opposed same sign uh, the next uh, item is the 2013 staff vacation and compensation time carryover and uh, this is something we do every year this document looks virtually identical to the one that you saw last year only the numbers have been changed and only slightly I'll entertain a motion move to approve their 2012 village employee comp time and vacation days carried over to 2013 Second. thank you any questions or comments On. I don't think so either. 
Uh, all in favor of the motion indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Uh, we have four contracts that will need <coughs> your approval. Uh, the first one has to do with the building inspector. I'll entertain a motion and then we can discuss it if it's necessary. George, I'll move to approve the independent contractor agreement for building inspector and zoning administrator services between Brian Wirt Inspection Agency, Inc. and the Village of North Hudson for a period of, of January 1, 2013 through 31 December 2013. Second. Thank you. I believe that the only thing that changed on the contract was the dates. Is that about right? That's correct. Thank you. Any questions before we uh, do a roll call vote? Sid, you want to start us off? Yes. 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 The next contract for your uh, consideration is the anim Animal Impounding Facility, Woodbury Animal Humane Society. I'll entertain a motion. I move to approve the letter of understanding for impound housing services. Animal Humane Society for the period of January 1st, 2013 through December 31st, 2013. Second. Second. I'll give Colleen that one. Okay, okay. Stan. <laughs> <laughs> Any question or comments? A lot of work went into this, as I understand. Would that be right, Dan? Uh, no, it was really easy because we just kind of went with last year and just changed the numbers to protect the innocent. <laughs> All right. Dan, you want to start us off in our roll call vote? Yes. 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 Okay, two down, two to go. Next one. Has to do with tree removal services. Okay, I move to approve the contract for tree and stump removal services with St. Croix Tree Service effective January 1st, 2013 through December 31st, 2014 at a rate of $200 per tree and $50 per stump. Second. Thank you. Any question or comments? Roll call vote on this one is necessary. We'll start with you, Ted. Yes. 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 And finally, engineering services, Cedar Court Company. George, I'd like to move approval of the upon uh, move a to approve the agreement to amend and extend the engineering service contract with Cedar Corp. Upon uh, arrival of our leather satchels. <laughs> just strike that last part. Oh. <laughs> well, it's okay because we all got them. No, I was shooting higher. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I got you. Do I hear a second? Second. All right. Any, <laughs> any question or comment? We have Kevin from Cedar Corp here this evening, so if you have any questions, he'll be able to answer them. He already answered one for me, and that had to do with all of these different titles that are on the back page of this. And, uh, if you have any questions before we, I call for the vote, now it's time to ask him. Okay. Dan, you want to start us off? Yes. 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 Thank you very much. Uh, we have <coughs> the 13th resolution of the year. It's a resolution to provide a health and dental plan for el eligible village employees. While this is complex, um, I'll ask for a motion and then uh, Gloria can talk about a few of the intricacies of this and what went into it. I'll move to, re uh, to move approval of resolution number 2012-13. Second. Thank you. Um, Gloria, you want to make any comments on this? There is a uh, <coughs> detail uh, page, or an analysis page. If you take a look, it's a, a very small print on the uh, research that went into, uh, into this. So, Gloria, you want to give a shot at it? Sure. Basically, J.A. Counter has put together this spreadsheet to give us a comparison. They went out uh, uh, for a renewal. Uh, 
too small. And uh, pr health partners came back at 22 percent, almost 23 percent increase. Uh, Medica would have increased by 51 percent. Uh, Anthem uh, came in at an uh, increase of 13 percent. And in order to get uh, that down to the 13 percent, uh, by changing uh, the per uh, small percentage of co-pays, um, this this plan will be exactly like the other the health partners was as far as deductibles and um, the HSA. The difference would be for a single person uh, once they get to the $2,500 of a deductible, they have an additional up to an additional thousand of uh, co-pays for prescriptions which would be 10 50 and 75 depending on if it was a preferred um, generic or a non-preferred uh, for families the deductible remains at 5,000 but there's an additional 2,000 of exposure and what this does is really places the burden of the cost on the folks who have more medication uh, above and beyond the five or uh, twenty-five or five thousand dollar deductible. Thank you, Gloria. Does anybody have any questions regarding this contract? Oh, you said J. J. A. Counter. And that's a is that an individual or a company? You've met Linda. Okay, so oh. it's the same. Yeah. Okay. And they're the ones who do this kind of research for us. Correct. Thank you. Hearing none, I'll ask for a roll call vote on this resolution. We'll start with you, Ted. Yes. 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 Mr. Public Works, I, I don't see any any paper. Public Works did not meet during the month of November. And and I noticed uh, public safety is no paper in this one. Didn't meet in December. Um, I, I take it this was in an effort to uh, help with the budget by not having in these meetings. I suppose. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. Safety. Item 14 is public welfare. Uh, public welfare did meet, George. Uh, I had something come up. I was not in attendance and thank Ted and Colleen for getting the business of the committee done, which was to review the proposed changes for request for proposal for uh, animal warden position. Uh, and we have a motion to approve the request for the proposal as presented to change the deadline dates from December 7th to December 21. And I think that uh, was all that we had. The RFP has been released, and we are waiting for proposals to be returned to us, and it would be coming forward to the board at a future meeting. But we did change the deadline back to December 7th in order to get um, the information to public welfare for their next meeting. Correct. Okay. All right. That means they'll be having a meeting. Have you gotten any results, any responses? Here? One. Okay. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Was that a yes? Was that a yes? One, yes. Kathy. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry, yes. <laughs> All right. Anything else, Dan? Uh, not from uh, Welfare Committee. Okay. okay. And next is uh, Park Board. <coughs> Colleen, uh, I think you have something to share with us. Yes, we have a, a resolution to have our um, park plan for Village of North Hudson to be incorporated into the St. Croix County outdoor plan. Um, that would help if we need to get grants in the future for projects. You get more points from grants committees if you're part of the larger plan. And so basically it's just to send our plan to the county to put in their plan. So I move to adopt resolution 
2012-11, a resolution adopting the Village of North Hudson Outdoor Recreation Plan. Incorporated into the Pinkard County Plan. Second. Thank you. Thank you. You had me worried there. I was afraid this one was going to die for lack of a second, Colleen. I was off on a mine trip. Okay. <laughs> All right. Any questions of Colleen before we? Uh... I have several. I mean, I don't. You know, I mean, the the grants. Uh, that's the only benefit for the village. I the way I understand it. I mean, I looked at you know. I saw the resolution. Uh, I'm just wondering, I mean, uh, you know, it's what is the benefit of joining the county plan? I guess that's to get more points. So again, where they're holding municipalities hostage in order to get grant money or whatever. The thing is with grant money, that's coming out of the state, which is private sector paying taxes on this grant money, or to get the grant money. So I'm, I'm, I don't understand <clears throat> the benefit to the village. I mean, what are the projects? I mean, the the, the St. Craig County plan, that's 112 pages long. The state plan is 122 pages long. I mean, did you did you look at the any of the repercussions or the things that are involved in that plan before you brought this resolution up? Well, it's to just try to incorporate the plan of the county for, you know, the village that it doesn't really necessarily benefit or detract it's to have a comprehensive plan for the county and the village and the so if people want to participate or look at what's available for outdoor recreation they have one place they can go to and if it helps us get grants for future projects I think that's a benefit to the village and the residents of the community so um, so uh, but, uh Benefits the community. I mean, uh, we've. Uh, is there any cost to us for this? No. Okay. There's no cost. So we. Uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, we're supposed to have our plan, and I looked in on the village website, and I didn't see our plan is not complete. Our plan is complete. It's it's due to be updated again in 2013. It's a five-year plan, and it was approved five years ago. Okay. And we have completed some of the things in the in that plan and it's an ongoing plan and we updating it again in March. Okay, well then the final thing is uh, the, the funding for these grants <clears throat> comes out of uh, uh, the Knowles Nelson Stewardship Program, which is chapter 23-0915. And how they fund these grants is that they take out public debt and then loan us the money. You know, it'd be my contention that we should, you know, keep the money here and not send it to the state to be reallocated back to us. You know, but I know we've got to fight the state on that one. But uh, I just, you know, I don't. <clears throat> grants always sound good, but it's taxpayers' money, and uh, you know, I think there's with the <laughs> present economy and stuff like that. I don't think we need to be going into debt in order to uh, do a nice to have project. When is the last time we applied for a park grant? It's been quite a while. <laughs> as as All right, know. so there is, in, yeah. is a, in this a five-year an agreement? Our our plan is updated well, every five years. I'm not. I don't know how often the well, the county's plan is no, updated. I mean, this no. this particular resolution is for five years, or is this a permanent attachment so. to the county? Okay. Yeah. A resolution I guess really my question is if we get if we're we're part of the county's plan if what's the what what's the possible kickback to us if the if the county decides to enact say uh, uh, and I'm just using an example of say walking paths that's part of their plan mm -hmm. does that mean that trickles down to us that we have to do walking plans as part of our park plan to stay involved with them or not necessarily we? no just okay so we still have autonomy right it's it's still our plan and we can do what we want with our plan right but nothing not will come filter back if the county decides to go in a direction with uh, parks no if they if we wanted to include if we wanted to connect to the county's 
walking paths, then we no, would no, have the option no, to but do, do that. But you know what I'm saying. If if our 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 plan does not have to coincide with their plan. Right. This is just a collection of plans. Right. But they could hold our points. If we were getting points for something, they could hold them hostage well, then if I, we didn't I go along with their I, plan. I guess then we still have a certain amount of control because if we don't if we're not don't have to do certain things that we don't earn the points then. Yeah. I just so I, don't I don't see the benefit of you know especially um, if we don't use it to you know to join in a five year program. We're tied into other programs right now for twenty years or whatever with certain other entities that are costing us a lot of money. And that's anytime you get involved with a state or higher up plan it usually ends up you know if it trickles down until we get you know something costs us money so just one clarification Colleen this does not tie us in for five years to the county no as I understand it yeah it's, no, just, it's okay. just it, it's, it's an annual fine. deal yeah. and it's an annual arrangement I don't know I have not looked into it well it's a resolution it's not a legal binding yeah. contract so it's Okay. <clears throat> so as I understand it also, this can be used so that uh, North Hudson, let's say, would be featured, not necessarily featured, but would have a place in a brochure that would come out of parks in St. Croix County. Uh, I'm not suggesting for a moment we need to advertise our parks, but yet they could be. Yeah. And the residents of the village might look on the St. Croix County uh, Park, uh, if there's a tab, and there might be a picture then of the village. Right. Okay. Anybody else? What's saying that we couldn't apply for a grant? You know, we, we may very well sure. get a grant and be able to improve one of our parks. <coughs> That's right. That's true. This ain't going to hurt. That's right. It's not going <laughs> to All right. Dan, you want to start us off on a roll call vote for this resolution? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. No. Yes. All right. Passed. Does anybody on the board have anything else they'd like to say before we adjourn for the year? <laughs> then I have the last word, but I will relinquish that to a motion from my family for Zap. We'll do it, Chairman George. Then by the powers vested in me, this meeting is adjourned. Merry Christmas to all. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>